up guys it's dragon here back with another video and in today's video guys we are in single player as you can see because my wings are not flapping which is unfortunate but you know it's good for cameras and pictures um today guys we're going to be doing another is it worth it video it's not going to be like that one with my drawings in it like um i did before because you know that's just very very time consuming and given it is in the middle of the week I do not have that kind of time to spare to edit a video, so we are going to be doing it the old-fashioned way, recording it on ARC. So yeah, um, today we are going to be discussing if God Console is worth your money or not, and we'll even discuss the differences between the two consoles, um, multiplayer and single player. So yeah, um, without further ado guys, let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get into the god console. So, let's just open it up here. This is single player god console, by the way. So, as you can see, at the very top, you have the option to spawn in the majority of the materials available on Arc Mobile, which is a really, really, really great perk. And this is something that definitely saves time because you don't have to grind. So that is good, definitely definitely good for the builders of Ark. So yeah, if you find yourself more of a builder than a survivor, then this is definitely a really, really good addition to the game for you. So that would definitely be one of the things that could make the hefty price worth it in the end. So yeah, um, first up we have invulnerable. Invulnerable is basically what it sounds like, but if you do not know what invulnerable means, Invulnerable is essentially if you have it on, nothing can hurt you. So you could jump from a really, really high cliff in Ark and you would not die, you would not take any damage. An Alpha Raptor could kill you. Well, they couldn't kill you actually because you wouldn't take any damage. So that's really, really good to have. And this also applies if you are riding a dino. They also have invulnerability, but as soon as you do not ride the dino anymore, their invulnerability is off. Next is infinite stats. So let's see here. If I were to add in a bunch of metal, as you can see, I have full weight, but if I wanted to press infinite stats, I can move around at will whenever I want, how fast I want, because I have infinite stats on and I have this much weight on me. So that is definitely, definitely good to have, and especially for the builders. Um, fly, this is another good thing for the builders because you can basically just fly. So I could literally fly on top of my building here. So fly is definitely something that's good for the builders as well. Instant crafting, another thing that's good for the builders. Say I wanted to craft, let's see, a bow, an arrow or something. Uh, all I have to do is press pickaxe, craft, craft, craft. And as you can see, I now have three pickaxes without even having to wait. So that is definitely something that is good to have with single player god console. So infinite stats and instant crafting so far are one of the only things that you can get exclusively on single player god console. So multiplayer god console does not have that option. Um, bright night is another thing. So let's me turn it to night. You could press advanced day and it changes it to, to night. Bright night is off, bright night is on. So it makes it basically easier to see in night, which is something that is also pretty good. Um, infinite ammo, let's see here. So I have my pump shotgun here, it has six clip, and I'm just going to shoot a bunch of times. And as you can see, I still have six clip because I have infinite ammo on. So this is definitely, definitely good to have if you're trying to um, tame something or something else. Level up self is exactly what it sounds like. You can give yourself enough xp to level up yourself and if you target a tame you can also add levels to the tame itself after a tame is leveled however you can only add 60 levels to it so that's a bit unfortunate kill target kill target works on structures and wild tames this is something that is very very good to have especially if you do not want to deal with pressing the break button to break something you could just press kill target and it just instantly kills it so yeah, this also works for very, very difficult teams to kill near your area. You can just press kill target and it's dead. So that's pretty good. Next is heal all. If you press heal all, basically all of your structures that are nearby and all of your teams that are nearby have all of their stats restored. So this is good if you do not want to deal with repairing your structures or 
feed filling troths. This is really, really good to have. It also repairs your armor if you are wearing it. Um, speed 100. This is another thing that is exclusive to single player. All you have to do is press this and it changes the speed of the game. 400 is definitely the fastest. See, I'm just walking right now, but I'm going incredibly fast. So you can fly across the island in no time at all. And then you can also change the speed to be slower. So as you can see, it is now at 25 and it is extremely hard to get around. So yeah. Um, next we have suicide. Suicide is exactly what it sounds like. It is basically just to kill your character. I don't really know why this is a thing, I've never had to use it, however, some people might have to use it if they're in PvP or something, which is good. Hide UI. UI is just all of your controls, so if you press this, everything just goes away, and the way to get back is to press two fingers on your screen and then everything gets back. Um, teleport. Teleport to any designated area, so like caves and obelisks and other areas that are nearby. Anywhere on the map, basically, you can teleport. Um, but I'm not going to do that because it's a pain in the butt for me, but yeah. Advanced day, as I said before, you can change the time of day with the press of a button. Learn engrams, so all you have to do is press learn engrams, and then you have as many engrams as you want. You have all of the engrams. And recolor target, let me just go over to the Equus that I want to recolor. So all you have to do is press recolor target on the Equus and it will change color. And it only changes to the natural colors, you can't change it to a mutation. So let me just take this wolf, I don't really care if I change its color. See how it's dyed purple? The color target, it is now a natural color, which is unfortunate, but that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's basically single player god console. Now let's go over the multiplayer god console. A few moments later. All right, guys, now let's get on to the multiplayer god console. So all we have to do is go over to the settings on the top and press admin manager and then press the passcode and you are in. So here we are in the admin dashboard. So as you can see, um, the people with the light blue are the administrators of the server. The people with the dark blue are people that are just regular players or do not have admin activated. The people with the green lights are the people that are on, the people with the gray are the people that are offline. And as you can see in the right corner, it says banned players. This is the amount of players that are banned in the server. So, um, let's go over this first. So, this I'm pretty sure is you can send a message to a player. Current announcement is when you can message hi, and then there would be in red letters at the bottom of the chat, there would be high and then you can set the amount of hours that you want it to stay up on the board next we have the bottom things here so what you have to do is if you press any of the players with the dark blue names you can use any of these commands on so i could press teleport and teleport to them to kick them and kick them from the server or ban them i could also mute them from talking in general chat or unmute them which is pretty fortunate um, if you would like to do that um, another thing here is, if they have light blue name, you cannot use any of the admin commands on them. You can't even select them because of that. So, yeah. Uh, that's basically the admin dashboard. And then we press close, and we have admin activated. Um, and you have a green name as well, which is pretty cool. So then you could go into administrator console here, and you can see there are two vacant spots. So you do have the ability to spawn in any map. You have Invulnerable, Fly, Bright Knight, Infinite Ammo, Level Up Self, Kill Target, Heal All, Suicide, Hide UI, Advanced Day, Teleport, Learn Engrams, and Recolor Targets. You have all of those. You just do not have the speed, infinite stats, infinite crafting. But there is something that you do have on multiplayer that you do not have on single player, and that is the Unclaim button. So if I were to go to any tribe's team, let's just use mine for example, you could force unclaim anyone's tame. So I could just go unclaim and it unclaims. So I could do this to anyone in the server's tames if I wanted to, but I would never do that because that would be considered admin abuse. So don't do that. 
But yeah, there are definitely differences between the two consoles, and I would say that single player is just a little bit better, but I would um, definitely like to have Unclaim on admin console just because I do not like to lose my tames when I add a new save. So yeah, so that's the differences between the two consoles, and now let's get into whether or not your god console is worth your buck. So overall, guys, I don't know, it's really, really up to the person, it depends on what it's worth to you, it depends if you're more of a builder, a survivor, whatever it is, it depends on your personal preference. To me, to me, this is my opinion, God Console is something that I really, really appreciate having on Arc Mobile single player because I can use Admin Console without Wi-Fi, I can build whatever I want because I'm a builder, I like to build things. I can tame things relatively quickly if I do want to tame anything, but I do have Chronicles, so yeah. And I just personally like the ability to spawn in materials and stuff, and I'm just more of a, you know, take it easy kind of person. It really depends, um, because when you're alone, in my opinion, it's not as fun to grind because you don't have anyone to do it with, so yeah. Um, admin console is definitely, in my opinion, it's good to have in single player. In multiplayer, it's also good to have because you don't have to pay, so... But yeah, we're just talking about if it's worth your money, and in my opinion, yes it is. Although the price is very, very steep, what you are getting with this purchase is the ability to level up completely to level 100. So you can get griffins to respect you without having to get primal pass to get a gold crown or having to level up manually. You can spawn in mats as many as you would want out of the following mats. Invulnerable, you can carry as much as you want in single player um, because you have instant crafting as well. So you can craft as many, much as you want and you can hold as much as you want at any time, anywhere. Um, you can fly across the map in a blink of an eye with the speed thing and there's just a lot of other things that are just great, like learning engrams. You can learn every single engram, and you can build the base of your dreams with God Console. So yeah, in my opinion, yes, it is worth your money. And even though the price is steep, it is still worth it. And again, it depends on the person. Because if you're more of a survival person who likes to do things old school, then no, I don't think it will be worth your money. But if you're more of a builder, then yes, it is worth your money. So yeah, that is my personal opinion. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention in single player, if you press fly on a dino, nope. you are now flying to the heavens. This is really cool, guys. Look, I'm just flying around on my unicorn. Just, you know, chill, flying around on nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah. So awkwardly with a unicorn standing in the middle of the air, I'm going to be doing the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It does a lot for me, it does a lot for the channel, and I really, really appreciate your support. So thank you guys for getting me this far in such a short time. I really, really appreciate it, and I could not have gotten this far without you guys, and I'm glad you guys like my content. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. If you made it this far in the video, please comment in the comment section, blade of grass. I don't know, I just thought of a blade of grass. Don't, don't come for me. But yeah, so yeah, if you find this video helpful at all, please do not hesitate to share this with your friends who might also be questioning about these same things. So yeah. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see on my channel or any games you'd like me to try out, please do not hesitate to ask in the comments because I'll be happy to do it. Anyway guys, again, thank you so, so, so much for watching today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.